Hello ladies and welcome back to It's Time for Tea. My name is Princess Nay and this is my femininity journey that I decided to share with you. Before we get started ladies, please follow me on Instagram at callmeprincessnay. Follow me on my femininity page at the indigo woman underscore. And you can also follow me on the Clubhouse app at the feminine boss. Ladies, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can reach more feminine women across the globe. Okay, ladies, so now let's get started. Today, I want to discuss the importance of having the pretty privilege as a black woman. Now, I'm aware a lot of YouTube channels like to inform black women to be like Kim Kardashian or Melanie Monroe or maybe even Asian women just to be looked at by high-value men. But I'm here to tell you that is the worst thing you can ever do as a black woman. The reason you shouldn't be like those other women, well, because as a black woman, you have to learn how to love yourself. Your black future is an overall monolith to use it to your advantage. Let's be very clear. Black women are the blueprint for the standard of beauty due to our full lips, right shaped noses, dreamy eyes, good hair, skin complexion, hips, breasts, and bottom sizes. We come in all shapes and sizes, so I find it very odd when black women idolize other women of other races versus looking at the black women here in America or African women and hyping our futures up. Never lower yourself to what society has to say because the standard of beauty starts with self-love, which is the best love. Now, using the pretty black woman privilege runs very deep and run deeper than facial features for women. A high-value woman who is seen as pretty by a man will receive free trips, doors open for her inside the relationship and outside with business, kisses on the hands, spoiled, gifted with handbags and shoes, etc. Now, to only be treated like this, you must enforce your femininity and not have an attitude um, or always miserable or anything such as like that. Women who reap the benefits of being pretty know the importance of not being overly masculine, know the importance of not being easily led to the bedroom by a man. They hold out for commitment from men, which usually um, goes to healthy marriages and or healthy relationships. Allow those other girls online to do whatever is necessary just to receive Birkin bags and cheated on when they only get 75% of a man when you as a high value woman will receive 100% when you learn how to respect and love yourself. You don't want to be a long term girlfriend to a grown boy. You actually want to become a wife. So a woman who understands that will receive pretty privilege much easier than those other women. It's just better to be courted by a man who possibly loves you as a a little more um, and wants to see you happy versus always wanting to go 50-50 with you and bring you more stress as a black woman. Black women who actually benefit from the pretty privilege can get whatever they want from a man versus a man being able to get what he wants from a woman. It's okay if some men want those kind of women, but keep on being a good woman and refuse to settle for the bare minimum to maintain your mystique as a black woman. In addition, when using your pretty privilege with men, it's simply okay to flirt with a man by flashing that beautiful smile, touching his arm during conversation, and having really good eye contact. Men enjoy this so you can see yourself as a beautiful woman, implementing those small habits to build your self-confidence to receive exactly what you feel you deserve. Everything starts with self-love, and that also starts with not referring to yourself as the B word, let alone allowing anyone else to do it. If you see yourself on a much higher level as a woman, you attract smart, well-spoken, hard-working men. Those men want to adore feminine women and take care of them, so it is in your best interest to allow them. I'm not saying all those men like that will be 100% handsome, but if you can get a man who is very decent and gives you a stress-free life of paying bills or anything of the such, I would say go for it. Men like that must have a lot of respect for themselves and they want it from the woman as well, which means there will be no belittling of the man, cursing at him, yelling at him, hitting on him or any of the sorts. If he is looking and smelling good, please tell him. And if he's excited about a new business idea, please show... Show support or give him a better outlook on it so then it can be beneficial for you both. Men do not like difficult women um, who 
do not support them at all. So do your very best to always be supportive in all aspects. This goes for both sides of the relationship. And as a feminine black woman, we must seek what we need in order to give to others what they need as well. Now let's talk beauty secrets. Now I am no fan of shacking up before marriage, but eventually me as a black woman who wants to be in a relationship and which will lead to a marriage, I believe in the importance of going the extra mile as a black woman. Um, a lot of women in this generation have left their homes wearing bonnets, face barely washed, no makeup, attending events just like that. And black women, we really have to stop doing that. I understand many of us work full-time jobs, take care of children, etc. But that is no excuse for not taking time out to take care of you as a black woman. Now, to look pretty as a black woman is the first start with your crown. You must always take care of your hair no matter how you decide to wear it. In the black feminine community, um, there's this notion where you have to either wear weaves or wear natural hair. And I find it to be um, completely untrue. It's good to wear weaves, braids, locks, afros, or whatever makes you look beautiful as long as it's nice and neat that's all i care about however as a feminine black woman who reaped the benefits of the pretty privilege i find self-care to be a great add-on when you're a pretty black girl i find black women who want to reap the benefits um should go that extra mile and invest in good skincare routines waxing or laser hair removals high quality uh, using high quality perfumes and moisturizers Indulging in spa day to get your hair, nails, and toes done. And stay away from junk food, fast food, or anything like that that will give you that sleepy and drained look. Take your daily vitamins and remain youthful with a lot of beauty rest to always look your very best, mainly when you are dating high-value men. Men will notice this and take in consideration that you love yourself to a point they'll want to do the same for you and then some. Always remember, pretty black girl privilege runs deeper than complexion, uh, weight sizes, or any of that when it deals with the appearance. But taking care of your appearance gives you that extra, um, the extra mile as a black woman to look your very best to show others that you deserve a very luxurious lifestyle and you will not settle for the bare minimum. But that is all for today, ladies. Remain classy and beautiful. Mwah.